Any winemaker will tell you crush, the time when grapes are harvested for processing, is their busiest time of the year. But while the work may be hectic and the days long, most of the people laboring here today are doing it for free. <laughs> We're all small wineries, and a small winery doesn't have a lot of money, and so the volunteer force is incredibly important to us. John Bigelow is the owner and winemaker at JM Cellars in Woodenville. Like most wineries around the state, John relies on the common practice of using volunteers who sign up to help with harvest. I think they get a chance to really see what the winemaking process is about and kind of live the, the romance of this game. And we get some of these incredible people who want to come out and spend all day sorting fruit on their own time. And at the end of the day, they get a bottle of wine. I don't know that I would do it, but they really love it. The duties vary depending on the winery, and most want the volunteers to work at least a full day. It's not a super technical thing that they're doing. I mean, they're basically just looking at individual grapes and pulling out grapes that maybe are overripe or underripe, and pulling out anything that's classified as mog, uh, matter other than grapes. I don't want any of that in my wines. Besides pulling and sorting grapes, JM Sellers also uses their volunteers to help with an old school winemaking method. I really have kind of found that I like to have people foot stomp the grapes instead of crushing them through a machine. So these guys, when they're done here, are going to hop in a bunch of bins and they're going to stomp around like Lucy and Ethel. Today's stompers are first time volunteers Joe Shaw and his wife. I've always been making wine on my own terms and over at friends' houses, and I never really volunteered for this, but this is a great experience. This is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's actually um, it's kind of sexy. You know, I've always wanted to do this my entire life. When I woke up this morning, that was the last thing in the world I thought I might be doing. This is our 2011 vintage. The fruits of their labor will take a while before they can be enjoyed, but for everyone involved, it's worth it. You know, it'd be satisfying to know that you helped make a nice bottle of wine. I get a lot of people who come back over and over and over again just because they really enjoy being around the community and, and all the good people that are really a part of Washington Wine. While working for free might not sound like fun, to these wannabe winemakers, volunteering during Crush hits all the right notes. If you'd like to volunteer, just check in at your local winery.